All right, hi guys, and welcome to Word of the Day Wednesdays. I am author Nicole D. Miller, author of Stories for the Urban Soul, a compilation of short stories, novellas, poetry, depicting black characters, dealing with everyday life issues. Hey, Lo, how are you? Um, dealing with everyday life issues from social injustices to heartbreak to healing to friendships to sisterhoods mixed in with spirituality and faith. So check it out more at NicoleDMiller.com. As you guys know, for the last year, I've been doing these Word of the Day Wednesdays to piggyback off of my latest blog. The latest blog post is Trusting After the Fall. So in this blog post, I share about how difficult it can be when something um, hard or hurtful happens to you. And I use the example of the ankle injury that I faced this past year. So I am an avid runner. I've been running since I was early 20s, so I'm not about to date myself, it's been a while. <laughs> and I just share in the blog how I got so used to running, it just became predictable. Not easy, but definitely predictable. And as a result, this particular day when I went for a run, I just had low expectations. Like my expectations were that it would just be the same old, same old. I didn't expect anything different, you know? It wasn't raining, it wasn't windy, it wasn't no external environmental challenges. So I'm just going about my way at the park that I've been running at for over a year, minding my business. <laughs> when all of a sudden I take a nasty fall. So basically the fall was from a random <laughs> buckeye in the path and it was just like one of those fluke things. And it took me out, but what made it worse that I've talked about in the past is that I never slowed down. So because I didn't slow down, I didn't allow my body to heal properly and made my injuries worse. Long story short, lesson learned, my point is, after the injury healed, what I'm noticing now is that my lower back is giving me a lot of problems. And when I went to my chiropractor, he shared that it was due to um, tightness in my hips. And he said, it's just a result of the injury. And when I think about it, that injury caused me to be off my feet for over two months, like two months and I was in this tight position because I had a knee roll rollator and all this stuff. And so my body tightened up. So what I realized is that my, my body now remembers the injury. So even though it's physically healed, because it remembers the injury, it's not at ease like it was before. It's not free like it was before. It's tight, it's guarded. So I feel like I got a lot of revelation that after we experience trauma and pain and offense and hurts, it's hard. It's hard to go back to normal. My body is having a hard time going back to normal life as it was before my injury, right? And it happens with emotional pain. It happens when we get wounded by a friend, when someone lets us down, when a loved one isn't there. But the revelation I got with that was that what we can't experience naturally, we can experience spiritually. So I share in my post about a moment with my mom before she passed where she invited me in into an intimate space with her. And because of the trauma that I had experienced in our past, I was hesitant and guarded and scared, honestly. However, I did, um, I did receive her invitation and now I have a beautiful memory I have a beautiful memory that we experienced together so if you want the details read the blog but in that experience I know what God was saying is what is difficult in the natural is easy in the supernatural so maybe we struggle with these hard um, hurts and pains and offenses and difficult um, traumas and circumstances, right? Those are difficult. But in the supernatural, we can be healed. In the supernatural, we can be redeemed. In the supernatural, time can be restored. If that message resonates with you, definitely check out my blog, like, save, share, and subscribe. If you want more from me, follow me on Instagram at HTOHB, on Facebook, uh, dot com backslash hcohb 
once in a while, I tweet on Twitter at Nicole D. Miller. And you can email me, Nicole D. Miller1983 at gmail.com. All right, so upcoming events. August 4th, I will be at the Lyndhurst Library in Cleveland. I will be on the self panel discussion, so uh, self published um, authors discussion panel. So if you are a writer, a soon to be writer, an up and coming author, someone that needs to know their next steps for publishing and self publishing, check out this panel. Check out my Instagram for details or my website. And um, we'll be there. I think it starts at 6. So, August 4th. August 6th is the Logan Berry Books BIPOC. And I always have to think about how to say that. BIPOC. So, they're doing a special for authors, for black authors, indigenous people of color authors, called Authors Alley. Hey, Alien. And that is going to be held different dates. But I will be there on the 6th. So, come through on the 6th. Details are on my website. Check that out. And then August 13th is the Indie Author Expo in Columbus. So I'll be there and I'm really looking forward to that because it was a great experience last year. And then finally, an update for our Miked Up event. You guys know that we just did our first open mic with an author's twist. We did it at Fort Bistro and Wine. It was a beautiful time, you guys. Like, I feel like. The people who shared and came out just had beautiful hearts. It just, they were like gems. And so one of the young ladies there had never ever done her poetry in public before, so it was her first time. There was another guy there who was an actual author. He had never even been to an open mic before in his life. I kept asking him, I'm like, are you from Cleveland? Because I'm like, we have open mics here in Cleveland, but he had never been go figure so we were his first and it was just a beautiful atmosphere shout out to Rhonda who's the owner at Fort Bistro like she did an amazing job and um, of course Black Widow Productions for helping us find the venue and just being an advocate for us to get what we needed so we had a beautiful time you guys so stay tuned for the next one it's going to be August 23rd at the Courtyard on Coventry at 6 p.m. if you need more details on that reach out to me all right, thanks for attending Word of the Day Wednesdays, and I will see you next week.